one year before there was the circus, I already had 10,000 stickers. And you have them in your pocket and you put them somewhere and every time you put them somewhere, you're like, I'm gonna do this, you know? Because <laughs> here it is a fucking lot of work. You had like three months of picking the floor, talking to the people, getting money for the tent. You realize yourself every time you put it, you go over the fusion and put it on every toilet and you know this is gonna happen. For the first years, we didn't have a stable place. It was the time when Berlin was more illegal raves and parties than official ones, and we were going into abandoned fabrics or places and building up like a stage for one night and play it, hopefully without police, and going out again. It was a great time, huh? <laughs> we learned many things. <laughs> Make him shows possible anywhere, anytime. The best way you, to learn is to try out. We basically learn a lot on stage. Max told me, hey, I think I found a place to put a circus tent. I said, wow, really? You, you, have to found, come now. you have to come now. On the 5th of October in 2018 was the first show. We have some little wagons. It's Gael, my place. Here's Paula, she organized the bar under the rope. When you expose yourself, you should be careful to don't reproduce classical stereotypes. There are a lot of ways to make cheap jokes on the cost of someone, we say in German, and yeah, we make jokes who are smart and funny. You throw some jokes about reality, but the tricky part is to bring them to an universe and bring them away of this reality. Space jokes. Monty Santa Rosa. And Monty Santa Rosa is into stickers as well, right? Yes. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> El malo de la risa. El malo de la muerte. El malo de la muerte. <laughs> you get inspired for our daily situations, you know, like uh, how society changes, uh, how, how we are addicted to phones. You sit in the train, everybody's on the phone, yeah, one makes an offline show. And I get flashes of ideas, and then it's important for me to communicate with other friends and people what I'm thinking about. Just put the topic on the table offline, a digital detox. Oh, guys, and then through those conversations, you start to get flashes. Oh, this could be one scene, or this can be a sketch. Uh, okay, which is the theme? In two weeks. Okay, we have to prepare costume. We have to prepare a stage. Who will do the sound? And then we have really few hours to work by ourselves and to prepare. But we're getting professional and improvising. Yeah, it looks like written. Well, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> Yes, in the backstage, we have many different type of lamps. We don't have one, only we have different possibilities. Uh, <laughs> and a big mirror, like it's needed. And of course, the walkie-talkie is very important to communicate with the FOH. Ah, and the favorite toy of, of Max is the smoke machine. Yeah, you have to look. Yeah. It's amazing. I say make people laugh because I think it's the hardest part. To bring them to an uncomfortable situation will be easier. It's easier, I think. I mean, at least for me. <laughs> but honestly, I just want them to have a good time. And if you want to make them laugh, they should be with you on track really fast. We make them laugh, but we want to be transgressor always. I mean, you can make them uncomfortable just bringing some topics on the table. 
one open doors in your brain while you piss yourself laughing. It's therapeutic for me and for the audience. It's both. <laughs> we do what we do for... Therapeutic shows. <laughs> therapeutic shows for me and for them. create a space which is like the heart of the Berlin circus community where people can meet, where they can train, where they can uh, experience stuff. Yeah, we're quite flexible and accessible compared with other theaters or venues or institutions. And we like to have this meeting and melting pot where the ideas are changed. We have the show and afterwards we put some music, we get together, we dance, we develop more stuff, we think about what happened, we find new ideas and muses. The circus in, for a long time didn't got a good reputation in many sense. It was always surrounded by outsiders, uh, misfits. The circus always was living this inclusion, this discussion which is now everywhere, don't be sexist, don't be a homophobe. We in the circus, we don't need a sign on the bar because if you're very special or different, then you're appreciated in the circus family. Yeah.